dawn of the first day. Seventy-two hours remain. We've gathered them all together, so we just got have to go to the, the clock tower and call them. You still remember the song the first giant taught you, right? You know, the song that to call them? Come on, let's go before it's too late. I've had enough of all this. How's it going, guys? It's the Nintendo fan playing some more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. When we last left off, we did some more side quests, and one of them being getting our fun, reviving the final Great Fairy, and giving us the Great Fairy Sword. And now, we're gonna finish up the last of the side quests in the game. Went ahead and. And one of them, we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a magic bean and the scarecrow song. Oh, let me get those real quick. I'm in Great Bay for this and stuff. Ow, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Diving headfirst into the shore. Yeah, that is uh, not good. But anyway, this. This is actually where we need to be. And the hookshot target's up there. There right. we go. And here's the soil. Which we can plant the magic bean. And now, watch this. Playing the song, the song of storm saves saves us the trouble of getting some water in the bottle. And let's play the floor of fire scarecrow song and summon the, the scarecrow. And here's our piece of heart. And, and our next uh, side quest will be at Ikana Canyon. Alright, I'm in Ikana Canyon. Now remember that haunted house we, we went to but couldn't do anything about? Well, surely now the the time to do something. Let's talk to this guy. <laughs> the Ikana Kingdom was founded on this land, stained with the history of darkness drenched in blood. Even now, it, it is a place where troubled, regretful spirits gather. If you are seeking the one who is stronger than you are, you may find strength here. From a group of spirits uh, plagued by lingering regret. If you have faith in your skills and might, then try saving these wandering spirits. <laughs> but the earthly price you must pay is 30 rupees. W will you still do it? I'll do it. You are a boy of much vigor. Defeat the ladies within the time limit and rest their souls in peace. But if your life energy drops to three hearts or below, I will stop the match. Mercy is the least I can offer. Are you prepared? Yes. Now, this is basically a recycled, a recycled fight from Ocarina of Time. And, oh, I don't have any arrows. Oh well, I don't need it. And that's one Poe down. Now we're fighting two at the same time, unlike in Ocarina of Time. And that's one down. And that's three. Three down, one to go. And. This is just like Ocarina of Time, Meg will actually uh, split into multiple images. Oh, we got an arrow. Thank goodness. And there's the real one. 
The real one will actually uh, twirl around a little bit. And that's that. Ooh, purple ruby. Got it. It seems their souls have been healed. I give you the er earthly possession which the ladies kept. Take it, Link. You get a heart piece. That is your name, correct? I can read people's hearts. I knew you would be coming here. Now my own soul has been healed too. With that, hee hee hee. Read the canyon guests. <laughs> Added to our notebook. And yeah, I'm wondering if it's because it's either it was either at night or we could not uh, do this after clearing the secret shrine. But, oh well, it's taken care of now. And now for the final side quest. And it's uh, in the stockpot inn. Once it reaches eight. There we go. Now, there's actually one room in the stockpot in that we did not go into. And it's in here. But first, let's put on the all night mask. And talk to the old lady. Oh, tortoise, did you fin finish helping your father? Then let Mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? We're we have two choices. We're gonna do the Carnival of Time, which takes two uh, in-game hours. The Carnival of Time it is. The Carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm. Ahem. The Carnival of Time. Each year, the season of harmony begins when the sun and moon are in alignment, paying homage to the way in that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. The Carnival ta of Time is when the people of the four worlds celebrate that harmony and request fruitfulness for the year. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are the gods of the four worlds. Now, it has become a custom for each person to bring in a handmade mask of the Carnival of Time. It is said that a couple unite on the day of the festival and dedicate the mask as a sign of their union. It will bring them luck. The centerpiece of the Carnival is the Clock Tower on the eve of all the festivities. The door of its roof is open. From atop the Clock Tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods is held and an ancient song is sung. All of these festivities of the Carnival of Time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest in the year to come. <laughs> you did a good job. That's all for Tortoise. Now, when does the clock tower roof open? On the eve of the festival. You did a good job remembering. That's the boy I'm proud of. I'll give you some candy as a prize. You get a piece of heart. And it's the history of the carnival. And Andrew's grandmother is added to our notebook. Now, real quick, before I do the uh, other uh, story, there's something I want to show. Wait a certain time, something will happen. Andrew's on her way to the kitchen. It will be lunchtime soon. 
I must hurry and cook. Grandmother is surely waiting. He's making some lunch. We used to be a cafeteria, but after my father died, the room rentals that were part of our service became our main focus. We're just a small inn with only two rooms, but people from all over come here at this time of year. See the performers practicing outside? The second floor bunk room guests are very spirited at night, sit with songs and dancing. The customer coming this afternoon will be staying next door to them, so I hope it'll be alright. Mm hmm? Doctor again. I must hurry. The guests arriving in the afternoon will come. Skip this. Skip that. And she's got a <laughs> tray ready. Please don't talk to me. This plate's about to fall. Yeah, that would be bad. Let's wait for her to go into... Oh, wow! She just went right through that of Rosa's sister, Judo! Let's go in, too. And let's talk to Angie. Oh, Tortoise, I've already had lunch. Grandmother, I am Anju. Tortoise was my dad. And you haven't had lunch yet. I've already had lunch. Now be quick and take that away. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I say I already ate lunch, Tortoise? Impossible, child. Then don't eat my food. I give up. Who? Er, would you like me to read you a story? Yeah, this tortoise that the grandmother's talking about is Angie's fa late father. And apparently she's uh, ignorant to the point where she does not care for lunch. Yeah, that's unhealthy. Well, now that that's out of the way, let's put on the All Nights mask back on. And let's hear the Four Giants, which takes some until the next morning. The Four Giants it is. This is quite long, but it's a good story for you to hear, so I'll read it with some extra gusto. Ahem. The Four Giants. This tale comes up from long ago when all the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together and the Four Giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the Giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, and 100 steps west. Should you ever ne have need of us, should the mountain blizzard trap you, or the ocean swallow you up, call out to us, loud and clear. We shall hear your cry. Now then, there was one who was uh, shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. The imp was a friend of the giants, since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why must you not stay? The childhood friend left neglect felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all the people there. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the giants, who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. Oh, Imp! Oh, Imp! We are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain. Oh, Imp, leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The Imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The Imp returned to the heavens and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced. They worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. Good job. Wasn't that fun, Tortoise? What did the people do to call the giants? I don't know. Oh, really? But you listened hard, so Mother is happy. I'll give you some candy as a prize. And we got a piece of heart. And we got Termina Mythology in our notebook. 
So, that's all the side quests we can do for the time being. Even though we don't get anything for getting for depositing more rupees in the bank, I'm gonna deposit them. One hundred we have. I'll probably cut to the final day. Night of the final day. Twelve hours remain. Really quick, something I want to show here. Let's talk to Kremia here. Or that's Romani. Oh, sorry. Two days ago, my sister. After what happened, I can't help but think. If only I'd listened to her then. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to brood. Our cows are all gone now. But please, make yourself at home. Oh wow, that was weird. But if we go upstairs on the final night, we can see that Andrew and her family have fled. Perhaps I was wrong. But he said so, the morning of the ceremony, he'd come meet me in my room, and I promised him I would wait, but already, it's too late, isn't it? Let's talk to the mother. I've been a little harsh on Andrew, but it's fine this way. Right now, surviving is the important thing. Oh, Tortoise, you're late. Tomorrow is another early day, so good night. I'll read you a story tomorrow. Well, there is no tomorrow in this game. I hope my cute face owner is practicing soon. No, well, she's not practicing. Oh wow, it's a Nipota plush. That's interesting. What? What do you say we go? And back the clock. Ugh. Apparently, I can't use the song of soaring here. Now, if you're doing the uh, Andrew Cafe side quest, you can actually see uh, Andrew's mother and grandmother without Andrew, while Andrew waits for a uh, cafe in the stockpot in. Which is interesting. But that's all I wanted to show, so... I'm gonna go to the clock town on the final hours. Because now that we've rescued the four giants, we should we have to wait until midnight. Now the midnight of the final day. And, and this time as human, we're going to the clock tower. Sis! Tail! Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. That's it. I won't let things go the way you expect them to. Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Uh, last time we were up there, we were a Deku trying to get our Ocarina back. But now... We play the Oath to Order.
It stopped. We did it! It stopped! Sis! Tail! Good, we made it in time. The giant's call worked on the Skull Kid. Hey Skull Kid, do you realize what you've been doing to everyone? Wait sis, don't. Don't be so hard on the Skull Kid. Tail, why are you protecting him? Aren't you mad at him for hitting you so much? He was lonely, the Skull Kid. He was trying to destroy everything around him. That is not the same as a lonely child. We can't allow that. The power of the mask made him do it. It was too much for the Skull Kid to handle. It's because he doesn't know his place. On top of having a weak will and no strength of heart, he's a fool. Certainly, he had far too many weaknesses to use my power. Yeah, that's right. Admit your stupidity. Huh? A puppet that can no longer be used is mere garbage. This puppet's role has just ended. It can't be! Then that moon? I, I shall consume, consume, consume everything! What? This isn't good. Let's go back. Let's go back. Hurry! The Song of Time! The Song of Time! Oh no. You've got to be kidding. Don't tell me you're going up there. I won't do it. I'm staying here with Tail. You go by yourself. I'll go. What? What are you saying, Tail? Is something wrong with you? I don't always want to be running away. If only I had been stronger, the Skull Kid wouldn't have... I understand. I'll go. After all this time, Tail, you've gotten really stubborn. Just like someone else I know. You know, you guys are really stupid. And it looks like we've entered a new world. And I'm gonna stop right here and friggin' explore this place next time, alright? Later, guys!